According to Safe at Last, a security company in 2018, almost 700 million people were victims of some type of cybercrime. Cybercrime is a crime that involves a computer and a network. The computer may be used in the commission of a crime, or it may be the target itself. Each one of us can be at risk from some form of cyber attack. But it, cannot, it not only can affect individuals, but businesses and even up to the government level. I believe that I am credible to talk about this topic because I am very interested in this field and I have done, I have been doing some research in order to expand my knowledge, my knowledge on said topic. Cybercrime is the reason why I am pursuing a major in computer science in order to help limit the attacks and help prevent them. This speech is to inform you about some background information of cybercrime, who the general targets are, and more, more specifically how it can affect you. First I will talk about the basics of cybercrime. Cybercrime has drastically increased. According to Hershevet Group, a global cybersecurity firm, like street crime, which grew in relation to population growth, we are witnessing a simu similar evolution of cybercrime, portraying the idea that cybercrime is growing dramatically because technology has advanced drastically over the past decades. Now there are more than 111 billion lines of new software code being produced each year which introduces a massive number of vulnerabilities that can be exploited. Simply stated, technology is advancing rapidly, sure, but it is also something that has yet to be perfected and contains several vulnerabilities and issues. But along with those vulnerabilities, technology has also benefited the fields of science, medicine, law enforcement, etc., which help to keep us safe on a daily basis. Like everything else, technology is made up of positives and negatives. I have discussed some basic information of cybercrime, and now we'll talk about who the general targets are. So, the most common form of malware targets organizations. Now, according to FBI.gov, hospitals, school districts, state and local governments, law enforcement agencies, small and large businesses are just some of the entities impacted by ransomware. Now, ransomware is a type of malware that locks valuable digital files and demands a ransom in order to release them. These organizations that are attacked are generally unaware that they've been infected until they uh, are unable to access their data or they receive computer messages advising them of the attack and of ransom payments. Many people don't believe that they can be directly affected if a business is attacked by ransomware and continue on with their daily lives. What they may not understand is that if, for example, is that if a bank happens to be attacked by said malware, that encrypted file may contain your account information, which then obviously directly links you into that because of the risk of having that information leaked or stolen. Multiple businesses are attacked in silence because it seems to be less important than other news in today's world with everything else going on. Unless it's a big name organization which can not only affect its day-to-day -day activities but also its reputation because no one wants to trust an organization that has a reputation of being susceptible to malware. I've discussed who the general targets are and I will look at how it can affect you and me specifically. Cybercrime can affect anyone in this day and age, also according to Herjavec. The cybercrime epidemic has hit the U.S. so hard that a supervisory special agent with the FBI who investigates cyber intrusions told the Wall Street Journal that every American citizen should expect that all of their data has been stolen and is now on the dark web, which is extremely worrying considering how easy it was for the perpetrators to gain access to that information and how it is accessible to anyone on the dark web. Everyone here is familiar with identity theft. In order to help prevent against and other malwares from infecting your computer, FBI.gov suggests the following. Keep your firewall turned on, install or upgrade your antivirus software as well as your anti-spyware technology. Keep your operating system up to date. Be careful what you download and simply turn off your computer. Cybercrime is increasing rapidly and it is something that is very difficult to keep up with. Now let's conclude this speech. First I talked about some background information on cybercrime. Then I discuss who the general targets are, and finally I looked at how it can affect me and you specifically. Cybercrime is something that I plan to devote my career to in order to help lower the amount of victims that suffer from these crimes. 
According to Herjavec 2019, at the end of 2016, a business fell victim to a ransomware attack every 40 seconds. Cybersecurity Ventures predicts that will rise to every 14 seconds by 2019 and every 11 seconds by 2021.